Hello, and what the heck is up, my Atlanteans? I can't explain to you why I look 30 years older. So, a couple days ago, I went to the thrift store, and I found a couple dolls. Obviously, they're, like, kind of gross, so I feel like I need to clean them. And I haven't cleaned them since I got in them, and they've kind of just been, like, lingering in my thrift bag. Kind of makes me nervous. But today, we're finally gonna get through them. The thing is, I have three dolls that we're gonna clean up today. Two of them are my scene dolls, one of them is a brat stall but i don't know who two out of the three are wow my face like looks swollen or something i think it's because i just woke up also my wisdom i think my wisdom tooth is coming in because like i have a tooth that's like jabbing into the side of my cheek so yeah that's a really great but yeah it just hurts a little bit i feel like it looks like it hurts i don't know okay anyway so let's get straight into this the first doll that i got um and the first and only doll that i can actually identify for all of you is this almost complete juicy bling barbie doll she's ratty <laughs> she's so cute though but like you can see that she has like basically everything both of her earrings are in she has her little bracelet and like her entire dress is there i'm nervous i feel like there's mold underneath the only thing is she's like a little chewed up but i think i'm gonna keep this girl she's like really pretty and of course she's missing her leg her shoes so that's fine but i'm really excited about her she I, I feel like once I clean her up, she's gonna look super cute. The next doll that we're gonna be cleaning up is a Yasmin doll. Um, I don't know which one. I literally have been searching for hours and I cannot tell you which Yasmin doll it is. Like every time I was looking, all of the Yasmin dolls, they're either looking straight or looking to the right and this one's looking to the left. And I cannot find her. She has a lot of hair. It feels like polypropylene hair. But that's fine. I'm gonna try my best to clean it. And the last doll that I found is this Wesley slash Madison doll. Like, I, I can't tell which Madison doll this is. Like, when I was, like, searching for it, the only ones that were articulated were ones that came with, like, a car or a van. And I think it was, like, the winter one. And, like, I cannot tell which one this is. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm really excited about her. She is articulated. And I think she's wearing, is it Sporty's outfit? Like, it was one of the Bratz, like the original Bratz fashionistas. We're gonna have to clean up all of their outfits. We're gonna have to wash all their hair. Um, I'm really excited about this. I haven't done a full, like, doll cleaning in this new house. So I'm really excited about it. Okay, let's get right into this, shall we? Okay, so first things first, we're going to have to completely strip down all of these girls. I'm going to start out by taking Madison's hair out of this nasty ponytail. And then we're going to have to take her outfit off. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we're on a limited space now. Next, Yasmin. Let's take her pants off. Please don't have mold. Please don't have mold. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, we're good. Yay! Last but not least, we're gonna have to remove the accessories. Oh my god, no wonder these earrings didn't come out. They're freaking stuck in her hair. <laughs> and then her outfit. Oh, dear Jesus. Alrighty, so now that they've all been completely stripped, stripped of their assets, I'm going to take a Lysol wipe and I'm just going to, like, completely wipe them down. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe them down pretty good. They, like, they're not so bad that I need to like take a brush to them. So I think just a Lysol wipe would be good just to like kind of like disinfect and like clean out whatever like gunk is like on them, you know what I mean? Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to brush all of their hair as good as I can before I clean them. I just don't want like any of the knots to like 
stay in place, if you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna take like my metal tooth comb and I'm just gonna start from the bottom up. So we'll start with Kennedy. Oh my fucking god. Okay, so here is Yasmin after I completely brushed her out. I love her hair part. She's so pretty. Okay, so Yasmin, all of the other girls, now I'm going to take them to the washroom and I'm going to give them a little hair wash situation.
Okay, and now we're just gonna wait for this water to boil because I'm gonna boil wash all of them, which I'm really excited about, especially Yasmin. That was a chore. I completely forgot to show y'all, but after you like boil the hair on the stove top, what you're going to want to do is get like a mug and like fill it with water and then put the doll in so it like has like some kind of stability. And then you pour the remaining boiling water on top of them to like kind of lay their hair down. So it's not like going in whatever direction you don't want it to be. For example, she was in a ponytail. So um, it was important for me to boil her down so her hair doesn't like stay in that position, if you kind of get that. Also, why the hell was Kennedy so freaking hard to like get her hair down? Like the back part of her hair and like her sides here, they kept like curling up. What the heck? And also for some, like somehow I thought she would be like really difficult to boil. Like I think it took her like only three boils and I did it all today. She was really easy to finish. I really like how they're turning out. Okay, so now I'm going to get them positioned to dry for the day. And then next time we see each other, I'm gonna be styling them. I also forgot to mention that this is what I'm doing with their clothes. I kind of just shoved them in like a jar and then I put one part deodorant and then deodorant. One part like laundry detergent and then one part water. And then I just like shook it up. Look at that and then you're like doing the laundry um i'm gonna take that out and let that dry next to the window so tomorrow all the clothes will be dry and i can get everyone dressed up so it's been a couple days and after letting their hair dry we got this look at how freaking amazing okay so this is how kennedy came out she looks Oh, that squeak. Her hair is so shiny. I used like actual good conditioner and um, that did not disappoint. Everyone, I, I've been saying that I've been using like dollar store conditioner because I don't want to like invest too much in like my dolls, but look at the payoff. So that's Kennedy. And I did the exact same thing for Madison here. Okay, so her hair looks kind of greasy right now, but if you shake it a bit, if you shake it a bit, then you can see that we've got like the, oh, oh my gosh, she looks so good. I guess the only thing that I really did different was, first of all, while boiling, I left the stove on. While I was boiling it, like it was still hot on the, on the stove. So maybe that also contributed, but also I highly recommend using like, I mean, if you can use really good conditioner or like use like, like real conditioner, do you know what I mean? And honestly, my favorite out of everyone that came out was Yasmin. Y'all remember how bad Yasmin was? Oh my God. Like, like, are you kidding me? Look at that. Even the ends are nice. I mean, I'm totally gonna need to like give it a good snip snip, but the thing is, I kind of wish that we could keep the curls, like that would be nice for her, but holy crap, <laughs> she looks so, so much better. Like she feels so much nicer in hand, like she feels so much cleaner. Next, I guess I'm gonna need to put them in some outfits, don't I? I won't be able to get some of them in their clothes right now but i just wanted to give you guys a little like hair update hello everyone so it's been a couple days and i finally got the dolls dressed up in terms of their hair i didn't really like style them at all at all mostly because like i was like really proud of like how they came out when i boiled them and also 
I wasn't sure if any of the other ones had like hairstyles, so I didn't want to like try anything that didn't make sense. So let's start off with the Miocene dolls. This is what Madison looked like before. Blech. Here is her after. As you can see, she looks so good. She is so cute. Okay, obviously I had to borrow some Barbie shoes. I chose orange because I thought orange and pink was cute. I know a lot of people like hate on the color combination in Diamond Castle, but I thought it was interesting. So I want to do it again for Kennedy. And here's how she looks. She just looks so much cleaner. She just looks so much nicer. She's so much nicer to hold. She has a long, long thing of hair. I guess like hair play was kind of like the main thing, right? It's just weird how there's like so many like chopped up layers. I don't know if that was from the previous owner or if that was like because like it was in curls. I don't know, but I'm really happy with her. I'm really happy with how she came out. Then second, we have Madison. Here is Madison before. Obviously, this most certainly is not a my scene outfit. I was actually watching Screen Queens and I thought it'd be cute if I turned Madison into one of the Kappa Kappa Tows. So yeah, she's just wearing some Barbie extra shoes. She's wearing winter break violet second skirt, a Barbie extra shirt, and I think this is the mermaid's shawl, like Chanel shawl. And yeah, I love her. She came out really cute. I would like redress her and probably style her hair, but I like this for the time being. This is what she looks like now. She's gorgeous. She's so pretty and her articulated arms are still able to move in that. Whew. This is what Yasmin looked like before. And after. So this is how I ended up redressing my, ooh, I still don't know which kind of Yasmin it is. And I think it's the Nighty Night Yasmin set, like clothing set. And then she's wearing 2018 Yasmin's second pair of shoes. And yeah, I just thought like she looked, like she's gorgeous. Like this is probably the prettiest Yasmin I have. And I kind of just wanted like an outfit to like reflect that, like something easy, something cute. She's looking so cozy. Probably not with the shoes, but like the outfit's so cute. So yeah, everyone, that is everything for this video. Thank y'all for sticking around. This was like really fun and like the outcome was so nice. They all turned out so, so cute and I'm so happy. And it's crazy what you can do with like a, like a nasty ass, like thrifted doll, right? Anyway, so yes, that is everything. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want. Hit me up on Instagram at atlantics.jpg. Hit me up on TikTok at atlantics.mob. And hit me up on Twitter at Atlantics underscore MP4. And send me pics of like your ugly thrifted dolls and how you fix them up. Please. And I'll see y'all on the flip side. Boom.